Hey, gun people. Man, this guy gives it to this committee on illegal immigration. He's a farmer ICE director. His name is Tom Homan. Man, what a great patriot and American that says the liberals hate people that can think and articulate like this guy. They just can't stand it because they don't have an answer. If the liberals can't tell you who to blame and who to hate and how to give them more power, they don't like you. Listen to this guy. 50,000 people in detention. You want to know why we have a million, million, one million illegal entries in the United States? You want to know why we have these issues? Because you have failed to secure the border. You have failed to work with this president to close the three loopholes we've asked for two years to close. I'm so if you want to know why this issue expired. exists, you need to look in the mirror. You, need, the you have failed expired. American people who are not Holman. securing the border and closing the loopholes. Mr. Holman, look, please respect the chair and the authority you know, of the chair the time have, of the gentleman has expired i've asked you gentleman politely to let me go beyond my my time and you let other people go beyond their time but not, not to tom homan he don't get me go have, beyond his time mr homan we have this, this approved is, this is, this is an circus. agreement this is between the republicans and the democrats with the ranking member we increased the time of one witness at uh, one uh, member of congress who was interrupted by a protest that is done with the approval of the ranking member please respect the chair's authority the gentleman, I respect the chair's the authority but the chair man she really beating up that hammer look how angry she gets man that's that's powerful that's 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 a man you just gotta love man give give a woman a hammer and she can pound some nails mr holman but you, you work for me. me i'm a taxpayer i'm a taxpayer you work for me I think everybody needs to be reminded entering this country illegally is a crime. There's no prerequisite you got to commit yet another crime to enforce a law. That's the that's law you enacted. A young lady over here mentioned 26 deaths in ICE custody. Wrong. That number's nine. And one's too many. But out of the majority of those nine deaths, which is the lowest in, of any federal and state uh, facility, most of them died within days of detention. It wasn't ICE's fault. They came in ICE's custody in bad condition. So, and, and, and the year before that, majority more heart attacks. I don't know how you, heart attacks happen across this country every day. I don't know how you prevent that. So nine, not 26. And finally, I'll say this, sir. Your comment about me wanting to uh, assault a, a, a lawmaker. Let me explain myself to that. Probably not the right thing to say, but I was angry. Let me tell you why you're angry. Because you or no one else in this room has seen what I've seen in my 34 years. You didn't stand in the back of a tractor trailer trying my 19 dead aliens that suffocated to death because the smuggler didn't care, including a five-year-old boy. What do you think his last 30 minutes were like? I was there. I seen it, I smelled it, I saw it, and I had a five-year-old boy at the time, and it changed me for the rest of my life. I've seen people who couldn't pay their smuggling fees got stabbed in the face 22 times. 31% of women are being raped crossing this border. Children are dying. Cartels are getting rich. Why am I angry? Because you haven't done anything to fix it. Nothing. We've been up over two years trying to close the three loopholes that Collins said needs to be closed. And you haven't taken one action. But if there's a policy or initiative that's going to cause an illegal alien to be arrested or be detained or be removed, we're going to have a hearing within days. Within days. But I'm still waiting on a hearing on sanctuary cities because these people's lives have been changed forever. Where's the hearing on sanctuary cities? Where's the hearings? Where's the hearing on the asylum abuse? Where's the hearing on, on the TVPRA so we treat children from Central America better? That's why I'm angry, sir. I know she's not paying attention, but that's why I'm angry, because you have not seen what I've seen, and it affected me in my life. I spent my career trying to save lives. And when I see what's going on in the southern border right now, and you're ignoring it for political reasons, why not have a hearing on that? Why not fix the problem and close the loopholes? Why not? Do There's no downside in securing our border. There's no downside in illegal immigration being decreased. There's no downside unless drugs come to this country. Opioids, I see nuts, opioids kill every man, woman, child three times. There's no downside in taking money out of cartels' hands. None. Okay, so what I don't agree is there is a downside to stopping illegals. The downside is the liberal left, progressive left, does not give as much power. The more people in a state, the more representatives they get. The more representatives they get, the more they can pass their liberal left-wing ideology. The more they can hate America, the more they can change the culture, fundamentally change. Who said that? Fundamentally change America when I'm president. Yeah, okay. So that's how they fundamentally change it. They flood it with non-Americans, and then they can say, we need to get the guns. We don't need a consultation. 
free speech is too bad. We've got too many. We'll, we'll make up hate crimes. We'll make up anti-white crimes. We'll do all these things because we want to change America. That's the downside of securing a border. And the people that can't see it, just brainless fools run around voting Democrat every year. Even after they die, they still vote Democrat. Anyway, I thought this guy did a great job. We'll end that there.